it's me again and you at black swan back again with another video and um this video is gonna be a makeup tutorial which i was really debating if i'm gonna make any makeup videos or post in any videos at all i decided that i was gonna post keep posting makeup tutorials hair tutorials and stuff like that and then also talking to y'all candidly which y'all could see in a video i'm either gonna post before or after this one if you're here clearly you want a mental break of everything that's going on right now there's nothing wrong with you wanting a mental break we're gonna keep it light if you do want to have the discussion of what's going on in this climate you can follow me on instagram and i'll be more than happy to be your sounding board to be a support system um or just talk about the debate or what's going on if you're clueless and you don't understand why people are acting the way they are i will be more than happy to give you my opinion my stance my care my love and my understanding so um yeah i'm gonna leave that at that and we're gonna get into this video with the baby uh i find myself having to that's my dog <laughs> i find myself having to speed up my makeup routine and it hasn't changed that much but i do want to show you a quick easy um evening go-to look because you know you might want to go out because you know places are open if you want to go out safely i'm going to show you how to beat your face and also do something with your eyes because if you're wearing a mask you know you want your eyes to pop okay for the foundation i'm using my becca illuminating perfection foundation mixed with my morphe foundation um me being inside so much and then also my um my pregnancy skin hasn't went away like it's still uh, it's still doing pretty good i'm so proud of my skin but also I've had time to really pay attention to my skincare routine and um, so I think that's been helping too. i um, doing a better job at um, dealing with acne and stuff like that so I think that's been really helped clearing up my skin. Look at me, I'm just slapping this on. This bottle is almost empty, I'm scraping it. This Morphe foundation is in the shade F4 dash not dash uh 60 and the becca is in the color what color is this warm honey mentioned this and before in a video some people were just like girl that's not your color i'm like just give it five minutes let it oxidize girl you'll see because like no foundation when i go out and i get foundation as soon as i put it on when it does oxidize if it's exactly my color initially when oxidizes i look so crazy because that's why i can't order foundation i have to um be in the store and get it so trying new foundations is is a task i don't know about you for you but it's a task for me oh yeah and this is the beauty blender that i got from anaceli art araceli cosmetics and um i'll put their information down below but their um bella blender it's like it it has the buoyancy of the actual beauty blender but I don't know what it's about. It's just a little different. And that small difference makes me love this so much more than my Real Techniques Beauty Blender or the actual Beauty Blender. Because the actual Beauty Blender to me is just way too soft. It's way too mushy, way too soft. Use the Beauty Blender. I didn't do the foundation brush first and then do that because, you know, mama's got mama's to gotta make stuff happen, okay? I'm going to use this angled brush that I got from uh, BH Cosmetics. It's been used twice before so I'm going to pinch the tip and kind of make 
that leftover product that was already on there helps stiffen my brush and make the brush shoot super duper sharp because this is really not a sharp sharp brush and I needed to cut. I need to slice, slice and dice. <laughs> Look who it is, Anna Sally. The brand I was talking to you about earlier with the Beauty Blender. And I'm also gonna use their eye, their eyelashes because like I really do like their products. And plus they're women of color. It's a Hispanic, um, the woman who owns the company is Hispanic and you know how it's black and brown. We gotta stick together. I'm gonna use this color. I'll put the name of this palette down below. Okay, now that both eyebrows are completed, I'm gonna take this round flat brush that I got from Amazon like years ago. You know Amazon be selling them brush sets and it's like 162 brushes for like $12. No, it wasn't that extreme, but it was like 30 brushes for like 10 bucks. So it was one of them really cheap kits and uh, this is like the last one standing. All the rest of them, they shedded themselves to death. So this is the last, it's the last of the brushes. I already used this twice before. I am not gonna clean it for this time. I'm just going to do like I did for the eyebrows and I'm going to wipe and pinch this brush so we can get it nice and sharp because I'm too cheap to get like one of those fancy fancy brushes okay so also to help with the eyeshadow look what I'm gonna do is take a light concealer and a medium concealer and I'm going to show y'all how to basically finesse your eyeshadow with concealer because I'm gonna use the light color for my eyebrow bone and it's gonna mimic uh, an eyeshadow that's light. You'll see. You'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and carve this out. Real light hands. So now I'm gonna take this other brush I got from Dew Color. And um, I'm going to use this to finish buffing out this light part. So as you can already see, it's kind of working as a faux eyeshadow color. Or I don't know like the best way to describe it. But it's going to give you the illusion that you already put the light color on your eye but you're gonna pat it dry. I'm gonna take these same concealers. So they're already both mixed already on my hand like this. And I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just Kind of mix those two together and start smushing it all into my face up to the side of the bridge of my nose. And what I'm doing, I'm just doing the whole U shape. I'm not adding no more extra concealer. I'm just moving what I already put on my face into the areas that I want to be concealed. So underneath my eyes, moving it down to above my lip. 
side of my nose. And I need to do this part because it looks like I still have a unibrow, right? So with this brush right here, with the same concealer combo, to take the same brush and mix that together carving out the top of my eyebrows and the concealer that is um left i'm taking that onto my forehead and then swoop down my nose so moving fast because this concealer dries pretty fast and when it does dry it is hard to manipulate girl like you're gonna have blocks of concealer just on your face and people are gonna see like the harsh lines so I'm taking that and I'm gonna start to blend all of this out using the corner of this beauty blender Boom, foundation. Okay, so getting some of this Sasha, Sasha powder together. And I'm literally gonna put this everywhere. The nose, over my eyebrows, my eyelid. Like I'm gonna put it everywhere. Cause this is literally how I do it when I'm in a rush, okay? And then making sure that I'm pressing it in. Because I'm not going to dust this off. Because I need to make sure all this stuff stays in place. Because I don't want it shifting around. You know what I'm saying? I don't want it shifting around. We got to stick to the things that work. If it's not broke, don't fix it. So guess what we're going to use for contouring. Boom. These same nyx contour palette you can get at the drugstore steal my face and then i'm literally just and then putting it on and don't forget when you are doing your contour hit that line from the top of your ear on down hit that line right there and i'm not gonna do too much heavy contouring because Trying to get out the door. Even though I really ain't got nothing to do today, I'm just doing this for video sake. But I'm literally just brushing this on. If you find that your contour is getting too low and it's messing up, don't worry. Take your beauty blender. Do not add any product on it, and just. Swipe it underneath your contour powder to clean that up. So I'm doing that, taking the same brush, I'm going to pinch it. Take that powder and I'm just going to go on the edge of my nose for a light nose contour. Or you can do this with a fan brush. It doesn't matter. Just I'm doing it with the same brush I'm contouring with. Just to show like we got we're trying to cut time. Okay, you know these brushes that you from Anastasia Beauty Hills that come inside of the palette? Don't throw them away. They do have means of use so i'm going to take the same same palette and i'm going to take the darkest shade of brown and i'm going to pat that on my lid and then i'm going to start doing small circles and blending that out. That's it. You see how the concealer worked as an eyebrow, the eyebrow bone color? 
because I didn't put no powder up here. That's just the concealer from earlier. So that's literally it for your eyes. Slap on some mascara. And for some of you, you are blessed with actual eyelashes. And you can literally just stop with that. But I don't have any eyelashes. So <laughs> I'm actually gonna put on some falsies. Lashes I'm gonna use is from the company Arcelli. They sent me these lashes right here. Mind you, this video is not sponsored by Anaceli. Like, I honestly just like their product. So, these are the lashes. They're a little bit more dramatic than some of y'all might like, but they do have more subtle lashes on their site. So, remember, if you if you have lashes, if you don't want to risk ripping them, what you're gonna do is when you take them out of the packaging, you're gonna Scoop it with your thumb. You're gonna scoop it out. You're gonna pull it with your thumb. Pull it out of, away from the glue. And then it comes out real easily. And instead of you gripping it by the band, cause you know, sometimes you just pull it off and sometimes that can really morph the lash or, you know, jack up the, um, the shape of the lash or whatever and or you're ripping your lashes. And that's the last thing you wanna do is pay for some lashes and then you rip them. Okay, and now I'm cutting the ends of the lash. I'm gonna take my lash glue. This is the lash glue that I get from the beauty supply. And then I'm gonna take the end of like a lipstick pencil and I'm just going to coat that right on the band of the lash. Look, you see how simple that was? Like, it don't take you, okay, that light's too bright. It don't take no time at all. Just make sure, you know, like your foundation matches and you got your eyebrows down. I have videos on that as well in my playlist. Check it out. And uh, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope this helped in some way, shape, or form. I don't know. And I hope this was a pleasant distraction from what's going on today because we all it ain't no it ain't no shame or blame from wanting a little just a little a little pop out a little entertainment away from everything going on you know to keep your to keep your sanity um so yeah that's gonna be it for this video and i hope to see you on the next one